Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the 2023 updates that are coming to Google Workspace. Now I'm going to use Google as the source for this information because at the recent BET or BETT fair in the UK, they've made lots of announcements on where Google Workspace is going. But these features are rolling out in the coming weeks and they will be coming to teaching and learning upgrade users as well as the education education plus customers. So if you are on those domains and if that is what you have, then you can expect these amazing features. I'm going to start with this image. And this is an image that was shared at BET. Now, this image will give you a quick little overview of some of the features that are coming. So let's just dive into these one by one. Now the first one is right here at the top and that is practice sets. Now practice sets have been announced a while ago and they are finally rolling out. Now practice sets will use AI or artificial intelligence to help you transform all your learning content into interactive assignments for your students. Now as you add more questions into the assignments they will suggest different skills to focus on and as students fill these out when they struggle they will get suggestions on how they can complete this. So a very exciting feature to get access to right now. So go ahead and check your Google Classroom and then you will be able to access those practice sets. This is rolling out to teaching and learning upgrade as well as Education Plus users. The next one we see on this image is right there at the bottom and that is adding interactive questions to YouTube videos. And this is for YouTube videos that are shared within the Google Classroom environment. So before we had YouTube videos and we had to use third-party apps to add questions to that, well, this is all coming to Google Classroom. We will be able to add those interactive questions to our YouTube videos and then assign them to our students. Now, as the video plays, our students can answer those questions, they get real-time feedback, and they can re-watch the video if and when needed. Now, if you would like to have a play with this or get access to the beta, there'll be a link to a form in the description below, and that is the form where you can request access to the beta. Now, you may or may not get access, that's completely up to Google, but that form will be linked in the description down below. And then a third, which is not on our graphic, but comes from their accompanying blog that was shared at BET. And that is another update for Google Classroom. And this is going to be where you can organize your assignments by different grading periods. So this will be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. So as you can see here in the example, you can organize your grades and assignments by quarter, semester, terms, whichever one applies to your school. This will really help you to stay on top of things and organize your Google Classroom. Back to our really neat image, and that is custom building blocks. Now, we've all been using these chips within Google Docs and building blocks to speed up our workflow, while now custom building blocks are coming. In other words, you can create a template for a lesson plan, and then save this as a custom building block. Moving forward, you can then simply type at lesson plan and automatically that template will pop into your Google Docs. Really excited about this, huge time saver. And for teams that are using the same formats over and over again, this will have a big, big impact on their time spent planning and generating different documents. And that brings us to the right hand side of this image and that is some new chips to play around with. So here we will have our voting chips. These are emoji voting chips and this will allow users to quickly vote and express their opinion within a Google Doc. We also have two additional chips that are rolling out and that is the stopwatch and the timer chips. These will become available within Google Docs within the next few couple of weeks. Moving down a little bit more, we can now see that there's also an update coming to Chrome. This is the Chrome browser and that is a brand new reading mode. Now reading mode will help us to reduce distracting elements on the screen like images and videos. It also helps us to focus on the primary content of a page. It will really help with our students that have various learning disabilities such as dyslexia and they will be able to change the font, color, contrast, anything they want to change right there from within their Chrome browser. So a great update for our accessibility features. And then there's a number of updates to slides and meet. 
outlined on their blog as well as in this image. Now, the first one is to see your speaker notes as you are presenting within Google Meet. So now you will be able to open up your speaker notes. You will be the only person that sees those speaker notes and the others will still continue to see your presentation. Great when you're like me and you fill up those speaker notes with bullet points and all sorts of things that you have to remember as you are presenting. Second update is you can now manage your slides with a co-presenter. So you'll be able to use that co-presenter feature to work together with a colleague and tag team the delivery of a presentation. So you can have two or more people working together and really managing the presentation of that slide, advancing slides, starting videos, etc. This will roll out in the coming months. They're also adding captions to meet recordings. This will initially be in just a few languages, English, French, German, Portuguese, Spanish, but eventually more languages will come later this year. In the top right, you see this little hand. And that is where AI again is going to assist us as we're presenting. So before you always had to click on the raise hand button. Well, now AI will be used to, if you are raising your hand in your video feed, it'll automatically raise your hand digitally to make sure that people are aware of you raising your hand. And then another small little update that is mentioned on their blog is that they will now enable users to provide institution-wide custom backgrounds for their Google Meets. In other words, you will be able to push out a background that is then used by your students and teachers across your entire domain. And those are some of the main updates that were announced recently for Google Workspace. Now, I'm super excited about these, especially the custom building blocks. I think that is going to be a huge time saver for teachers. Being able to build your own custom building blocks and then pull them into a new document, really looking forward to playing around with that. The practice sets, I've already had a chance to play around with practice sets and I can really see this impacting student learning, especially with those older students. And if you are using Google Classroom consistently, practice sets will have a huge impact as well. So if you ask me, those are my two favorites, but let me know in that comment section below which of these updates are your favorites and are you looking forward to trying these out? I will link to the source of all this information, both blogs down below in that description. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.